Quite simply, the greatest of all time, John Cena. The following is an elimination match. Making his way to the ring from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena. Big match John is back where he belongs at the Showcase of Immortals. A name he definitely earned. He competed for the WWE Championship in seven consecutive WrestleManias. Since then, Cena has had epic clashes with the likes of The Rock, The Undertaker, and Bray Wyatt. Now, he's already cemented himself as a WrestleMania icon, but I see many more WrestleMania moments in Cena's future. And I think we're going to see one more here tonight. Here comes the head of the table, the Tribal Chief. And representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. The head of the table is at the showcase of the Immortals. We've seen Reigns defeat the all-time greats here at WrestleMania. Edge, Triple H, The Undertaker. But there's no bigger win yeah. than winning the biggest WrestleMania match in history, unifying the WWE and Universal titles by defeating Brock Lesnar. The title collector is here. And from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, the WWE Champion, Brock Lesnar. Only a small handful of WWE superstars have held two championships simultaneously, and this man now joins their ranks. Yeah, it's an honor no matter how long you hold both titles, but the reality is most double champions lose at least one title before long. This man is determined to be the exception rather than the rule. You talk about standing at the top of the mountain. This guy is at the peak of Mount Everest. Indeed, it is going to take a monumental effort to take either one of this guy's titles. Here comes Jey Uso. A man who has grown immeasurably under the bloodline. And representing the bloodline. From San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds, the WWE Universal Champion, Main Event, Jey Uso! Jey Uso has grown accustomed to owning a mountain of tag team gold. But he's proven he can fly solo as well, Byron. You can say that again, Cole. We are looking at main event Jey Uso, as ruthless as they come. The right-hand man. Here comes Jimmy Uso. The glue that holds the and bloodline together. Representing the bloodline from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 251 pounds, Jimmy 
Jimmy's been helping to run things in the bloodline. Jimmy Uso may not be alongside his brother Jay here tonight, but Jimmy Uso is just as cunning as ever. Hey, superb athletic abilities here. You can say that again. Jimmy Uso has the ability to fly around the ring and still hit like a truck. Honestly, guys, Jimmy Uso is the complete package. I've never agreed more, Byron. The Apex Predator is here. It's hard to believe it's been two decades on the hunt in WWE. And representing RK Bro from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. You know, Randy Orton watched his father in the very first WrestleMania main event, and then he went on to main event multiple WrestleManias of his own. And this is a stage where he's faced the likes of The Undertaker, Triple H, and John Cena. We have seen Randy Orton go from being known as a legend killer to a legend. And we know Orton only needs three letters to create the ultimate WrestleMania moment. R-K-O. One of the most methodical superstars in WWE. Every step he takes serves a purpose. Yeah, Randy Orton is always thinking inside that ring and provides no reprieve from the gruesome attacks that he creates. Always a threat with the three most dangerous letters in all of sports entertainment, R-K-O. The son of a dream, the American nightmare. Michael, a man who redefined himself away from WWE and is now a main event star. Corey, I will never forget the night that you and I had the opportunity to call this man's amazing return to WWE. You're right about that, Saxton. A true WrestleMania moment. If there ever was one. And from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Gentlemen, WrestleMania has just become undeniable. After six years away from WWE, made a show-stealing return and defeated Seth freaking Rollins. It was a heck of a debut, but Rhodes has his sights set on the main event of the Showcase of the Immortals. There is no reason to doubt that he can make it to the main event and win.
has honed his skill set and turned his entire body into a weapon. Hey, let's not forget, Balor is a very gifted technical wrestler. Yeah, Balor also has a very nasty attitude. Who are you to pass judgment on a member of the Judgment Day, Byron? In an eight-pack challenge, the rules are simple. Eight superstars in the ring together, but everyone for themselves. First fall to the finish via no submission wins it all. The potential for chaos is, to put it lightly, very high. Comes back into the ring. Uh -oh. Flashback. Release back suplex. Ouch. Danger is constantly lurking in a no disqualification match. Interference has to be a concern for these superstars. While it certainly can be a factor, I don't think it should be a concern. The only thing you should be concerned about is getting the win. Oh, sweet. Nicely done. Oh, good oh, measure. Oh,
to take a massive effort to keep him down. Oh, that can rock you. Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful like that. No protection out here. Let's 
kidding me? Not even a low count. Brock Lesnar has been eliminated. With authority. Boom! Oh, slam! With authority. Big, big. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Showing some extra scouting.
Tagging this outside. This could be good. Anywhere matches never disappoint, and this one was no exception. Here is your winner, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. And what an uphill battle it was to have every other superstar in this match. Elimination matches are absolutely a cruel mistress, but they certainly found a way to overcome such a challenge.